being immature. I, I want to leave. You cannot block me in here for the rest of your life. I'm not blocking you in. I'm just making sure that you're sure. I'm sure. Wait, you didn't even think about it. I thought about it. it didn't seem like you did. Neil, I thought about it. It's already happened. Before now. Okay, but just... It'll make more Neil. sense if... What if... What if you're wrong? Did you uh, ever think of that? Oh my god! Where will you go? The moon, Neil. The moon. Well, I guess I'll just have to go up there and win you back. Because that's how much I love you. If you went to the moon, I'd go too. I'd do whatever it took. Excuse me, I believe your presence may be altering the wind conditions in this field. What? Your presence in this field is disrupting the wind patterns. Why does that matter? It makes it hard to get an accurate reading. Why do you need to do that? Just trust me, it's important. So I should leave? It really is important. Don't worry, I believe you. Great! So Did you move? Not even halfway through my schedule inspections tonight. I'm just curious. Wind conditions. What are you inspecting wind conditions for? Launch. Launch? I'm sorry, you don't have security clearance for that information. What do you mean? Um, do you want it? Seems interesting. How's your vision? Good. Give me a cough. <coughs> Let's see. 
Are you a citizen of the United States of America? Yeah. Are you a communist? A what? No, probably not. Give me another cough. <coughs> My name is Alan. I'm going to the moon. For real? Yes. Now, I have to run some more tests, evaluate this field's aerodynamic properties, but you're welcome to watch from exactly T minus 50 yards from the hypothetical blast radius. Keep your eyes up for anything that looks heat resistant. Deflecting solar radiation is also a plus. Okay. Are you sure they have that kind of stuff here? Oh, great. Are you testing them out? Yes. The performance in low gravity environment. It's too bad that you only have Earth gravity to work with. It's not really a problem, as long as you know the proper algorithms. Huh. Must be difficult. I've got it, okay? I wish we could get a monkey. We could call some local zoos. No, 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 no. We need to start looking at different kinds of rocket fuel. How many thrusters are we dealing with? Good pyrotechnics guy to sort that out. What about moon food? We'll get a guy for that. We have to have proof. Of course. We'll get a guy for that, too. We'll need an entire crew. He has to be white. Like a real lab rat. Can't be a picky eater. Tail no longer than the length of his body, which was not exceed six inches. Must be able to adapt quickly and withstand G-forces. Check his medical history. Must possess great courage. Is this replacing the monkey? We're getting rat because we need a rat meal. It's essential to the initial testing phases. Will he be okay? He has to have courage.
How's this? Exactly. His name is Gus. Your space is on the table. We're leaving already? This is a simulation. We need to do things by the books. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What's the camera for? This is a simulation designed to inspire confidence. Show what kind of work we're capable of. Are we staging a moon landing? Go get your spacesuit. Trusting you. You can count on me. Come with me. All right, just follow my lead. Pay close attention to the fluidity of your paces on lunar surface. Best to keep to the conventional one foot after another technique. Who's gonna hit record? I'm expecting the crew to arrive pretty early. We should probably get to bed soon. How are we gonna make sure we don't get lost? Don't worry about that. The cartographer will handle it. Neil? 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 Yeah? Congratulations on completing your first mission. Thanks. So, you boys want to go to the moon?
Isn't gravity weird? Look at it. It's a nice target. I hope we hit it. We will. Just gotta focus. Yeah. Yeah. What do you see? They're all moving. Don't worry, you can just order what I order. having nothing for me I'm on duty uh, okay. go welcome to moon quest I invite all of you to look up look up at that sky See it? For centuries, that sky was an exclusive VIP party. If you weren't invited, you were grounded. Well, men, together me, Neil, and one other crew member who displays himself as worthy and capable enough to occupy this third helmet, are going to crash the sky party. Chosen you specifically, because I know you can do it. How many more are there? Why would you give firecrackers this loud? I said spectacle! Firecrackers are stupid! No one can hear me! Can you even hear me? Build a whole society. It's easy to get to move. As you saw, I've been there many times. Should I, should I be doing something? With the sheer mass of raw materials we need to move theirs out of this world. Excuse me? Or at least they will be. Tall skyscrapers. Low gravity will allow for that. You really need to get that across. Everything will just be better. Everyone has to know that everything will be better. I read you loud and clear. Good. Hold on there. Let's see, we've got our gas line. It's not safe for you to be doing this. Based on your track record, it can be dangerous. Should I do it? No. You, you focus on developing a menu of moon food. It's no ramshackle operation. I intend to eat well up there. Right. Yeah, there's definitely enough material for fuel fuel cells here. So we got our docking. You need a suit. This is all you gave me. Actually, Neil. You go back and supervise. Okay. You go with them. I, I, I gotta think. Okay. And I'm expecting a screening of what you've got by tomorrow. What was that? Hey. Do you have time to talk? Now. As you know. Part of my job as the physician of this operation, as with any operation like this, is to evaluate not only the physical well-being of men that have to submit themselves to such rigorous and compromising forces, but also the mental. Now, I have no doubt you'll pass with flying colors, but I thought it might be good for the crew's morale to start with their commander. Solidarity, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Running through them. If you could just give us a little bit about where you were born and went to school, 
were you a responsible student? Picked on at all? Describe your relationship with your parents. Do you find them supportive? Uh, what is your relationship to failure? Do you consider yourself an optimist or a pessimist? If you could just give some insight as to how you manage and cope with stressful situations and challenges. And that covers the first batch. Walk with me. Wait, who? All of us? Our physician's been quarantined. Very sick. Might be out for a while. I hope none of you got too close to him. That's all I've got. I've never made a movie before. I didn't even know I was gonna make a movie until yesterday. It's, uh, good. We need to make sure we have a photo shoot before the test screening. Make sure you're ready for that, by the way. Wait, I'm confused. Uh, is this guy famous? Let's get into that. Meet me. Okay. He's gonna be playing me in this movie. The rest of it. Who's gonna be playing me? You. I'm just going to be so busy that I'll occasionally need a stand-in. I'll try my best to be there for the most historic moments, though. It's important that this movie feel real. I mean, people are going to believe it, right? Exactly. I can't wait to make this movie. We're always making a movie. At every moment. Can I get up now? Are you sure it's okay to use parts from the car to build the of rocket? Of course. Okay. I know which parts are safe to take out. Uh, it just, it, it feels a little weird now. L listen, I, I'm sure it's just psychological. Playground should be okay. As long as the blast shields are tall enough. I thought we pulled over because you were concerned about the light. Pyrotechnics left the fuel door open. Are you sure we're ready? Yes, I am. Think we have enough fuel cells? How much fuel can a fuel cell carry? I think we'll need some more fuel cells. Clap when you're Try that again. Try that again. Clap when you hear this. We can make that work. How do things look over there? How do things look over there? Good. Good. 
I don't really know how to tell these things. That's fine. I just primarily wanted to test these out. Walk with me. You're gonna have to break the news to them. What news? The bad news. What bad news? The bad news I haven't broken to you yet. Cause it's hard. It's very hard. Everyone may very well be crushed. Alan will return shortly, everyone. Please remain patient. Do you like my sash? I don't have any problem with it. You think Alan will like it? Shouldn't you be recording? Uh, I wasn't sure. This seemed like a secret meeting. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Nothing. We'll go. All systems go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys have to stop doing this. No, it's okay. Too long for me anyway. I think Alan wants you to be more vain. There's some information about to be broadcasted that you all need to pay attention to. Okay, everyone. Don't freak out. Please. This field isn't gonna work. The wind isn't right. It isn't right at all. Now I have to break the news to you. Some of you may wonder if we'll ever find the right wind conditions to launch this rocket. I don't know. Right now it's a pretty big deal that we didn't though, so I understand any amount of despair you may be experiencing. I'm sorry to have to stand up here and crush you like this. I just want to assure you this is in no way Alan's fault. Some things are beyond our control. But now it's time to buck up, you big babies. You say you want to get to the moon? Well, I say prove it. I know we can get to that sky party even if we are a bit late. We'll be fashionably late. Each and every one of you has the potential. Okay, okay, they get it, they've got it. You need to shave before your next broadcast. All right, men, there will be hotel reservations tonight as well as a menu of moon food catered by our very own chef. I'd like to see you all in your best behavior. You will be representing our mission, your country, and me. Alan, could you let me know if I'm getting any closer? You've got it. It's perfect. Did you all hear that? It's perfect. I think we can all stand to learn from this and begin to do things more perfectly. Beep. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. What the hell are you doing? You're making the whole hotel annoying. Do you think this is what you were supposed to do? I don't even know why I have to say. Great work. Keep it up and enjoy the promotion. Good work. Keep it up and enjoy your promotion. Thanks.
Where are you? Where's my crew? You look tired, so we let you get to sleep. The cryptographer's running a meeting right now. So come on down. Bring the presentation to me. Come on, man. He's excited to show you. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Thought it was pretty impressive. Wait, wait, what's wrong? Man. Could you believe that guy? Perhaps. Does he want to fall into a crater? It's gonna get lost. What was wrong with him? Always <sighs> wait, 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 making a movie. What was that? Whoa, 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 you guys. So what is this? I'm sorry, I should have checked the camera. I should have checked the, the tapes. Do you think anybody's going to broadcast this? There's a chunk of history gone now. I'll find it. We'll find it. Do you think we can get any of it back? You guys... The zoo, the... I went there once when I was a kid, but pull over. Why, why do we need to go there? We need a day off, let's just go. Really think I need to fight that guy. Neil, the footage is lost. He ruined it. Uh, okay. This whole thing's just a pile of sticky syrup for conspiracy theories to flock to. They'll come like ants, take it away bit by bit. Could have been impenetrable. Could have been solid. Could have been in the history books. Are you trying to make a mess? It already is a mess. Just giving a free sample. I really appreciate your support in this.
Hello, man. Lovely day. Great relaxing. But unfortunately, we have to get back to the realities of work sometime. As you know, only one of you will be joining Neil and I in our rocket's main voyage. It's up to me to determine who. This is an endurance test. I'd like to volunteer for the first serving of endurance test. There's only one serving. It's already been served. This is an honor. No, it's not. It's a duty. Sir, will we all be tested for our endurance? We'll see. All right. You can count on me. I'll do everything in my power not to get sick. I don't know. I thought I saw you sniffling earlier. You may already be sick. I'd hate to have to ground you. No, no, no. Walk with me. Do you think we'll be taking animals to the moon? There's only three helmets. Animals can't wear helmets. Are there animals here? Is this what the moon base is going to look this like? This is an exercise in observational skills. Everybody put your hands out. Your mission is to figure it all out. Take these, report any findings, and don't get lost. We'll meet back at the gift shop. Hey, no. Neil and I have this quadrant covered. Are you sure this place isn't closed? There were no tickets. No animals. I don't think it's safe. I forgot about the peacocks. Peacocks can't fly. I wonder where they went. Found some geese. Should I approach them? You still have yours? Throw it. I found some geese. I found some geese. They don't look very healthy. Don't worry, I'm getting some great scans. Determining whether the geese are hostile. I'm not sure if these geese are cut out from space travel. I want to make a note for the record that they won't stop moving. I'm doing my best. Okay, okay. That's enough. Everybody's talking at once. Your mission's complete. You're going to try to relax and treat it like a fun vacation. Alan? The, the car. The, I don't know. Shut up. Did you lose a tire? I told you. Here? We, is this, is this we needed to get the on? lights. Is this where we want to be? Did we get in a wreck? I, I, where are I, we? I don't, Let's um, move. What, what's going what did, on? What? Where are we? You what guys happened? know, was anyone awake for the part where we stopped? What are we doing? We're not doing anything. Can we get a status? Right. Does anyone know what's going on? This car sucks. This is probably right, right? Where, where are we? Going. Stop. Well, those still work.
We're here, everyone. We did it. It's perfect. Get ready for lunch in the morning. Yeah. yeah. All right. What about the third helmet? Not how it goes. Stay still. This has to be recorded. It looks pretty great. Gus. Thought you wanted to get to the moon, Neil. Is that, a, is that a bottle rocket? I told you. You had to have courage. Wait, what are you doing? 
Gus is going to serve as our ambassador, Neil. It's actually a big privilege. What? You want to go to the moon or not? I don't want to explode our rat. Sorry, Neil. I can tell you're upset, but I can't help you. I would have never taken you on if I knew you'd be such a baby. A baby? A baby? Alan, are you crazy? You're crazy. Alan. Alan. Well, at least I don't follow people around that I think are crazy. At least talk. Well, Neil, I'm the one leading this mission, so you don't get to say anything to me. Alan, just admit it. We fucked up. Go away! Thank <laughs> you. 